Hmm. It's morning time. And it's Pororo's birthday today. But first, you must get something to eat. Mmm. How about a cucumber, an apple, and a yellow pepper? Now to turn the oven on. And now to set a timer so he doesn't forget the oven. Aurora would like some toast as well. But where are Pororo's friends? Have they forgotten his birthday? Maybe they're outside. But there's no one there. No one at all. It seems Pororo's friends have forgotten about his birthday. Aurora is sad. Kronka krong. Hmm? Wrong! Right. Aurora's friends didn't forget about his birthday. And they brought presents. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Great job! Oh no! Aurora forgot about his toast and his timer for the oven. And now the overcooked food is burning the house. There's smoke and they need to get out. There's Pororo, Eddie, Krong, Petty, Poby, Tong Tong, and Rody the robot. All the friends are safe. Pororo has an idea. He knows just what to do. And Krong and Eddie want to help. It's a fire truck. And Pororo and Krong hop inside. And Eddie's gonna climb the ladder to the bucket. Hey -ho. Together they're gonna put out the fire. Off they go! The Pororo rescue team is on the way! Time to put out that fire! Good job, Eddie! I'm gonna get me! Get me! Oh dear, there's still one small fire inside the house where the presents are. But Pororo has a secret plan. His special fire truck transforms. Now let's see what's inside the garage here. Would you look at that? It's a tiny fire truck with Pororo inside. He could use this to sneak into the house and put out that fire. Let's put him on the launch pad. And lower the track. Let's switch the lane and Pororo's to the rescue. Now to use his hose to put out that fire. Great job, Pororo! <laughs> Yay! Now Pororo can open his presents. Let's see what Petty brought. Thank you, Petty. It's a red sports car that looks really fast. Now for Rody's gift. Woohoo! It's Teo the blue bus. And this bus has its own lights. What a great gift from Rody. Now for Krong's present. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's a green street sweeper. And it has a sweeper on the left and the right for cleaning the streets. Pretty cool. Thanks for the gift, Krong. Now let's see what Tong Tong has brought. Thank you, Tong Tong. It's a little orange taxi. Taxis drive people around that don't have cars. Let's see what's in Eddie's present. Thank you. Look at that! It's a big orange cement mixer. Cement mixers mix concrete for the sidewalks. Now there's one last gift from Poby. Thanks, Poby. 
It's a blue SUV made just for Pororo. What a thoughtful gift from Poby. Now Pororo and his friends want to play with their new cars. Wow, that sure was fun playing with all those presents. Uh, 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 you! Oh no, not another fire! Wow, who put it out? <laughs> Great job, Pororo! If you liked the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments how many birthdays have you had. Pororo and friends are on their way home from school. After a long day of learning, they can't wait to be home. Ah, oh, there's their home. Now it's time for the friends to hop out. And our first student to hop out is Krong. Krong is green. And he's a baby dinosaur who loves to say, Krong Krong. Let's see what he wants to do when he's inside the house. Now that Krong is inside, there's lots of things he could do. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Krong Krong. He wants to take a bath in the bathtub. Here come the bubbles. Krong Krong. Once we get all 10 of our friends out of the bus, our bus will have a surprise for us. So far we have One. friend out of the bus. And our next friend is going to be Eddie. Eddie is orange. And Eddie is a fox that likes to invent things. But right now, he's very hungry. So let's see what he wants to do in the house. Eddie's tummy is grumbling, so he'll get something from the fridge. Hmm, a little of this, and some of that. Oh, and one of these, and one more over here. It seems like Eddie is very hungry. Boy, I'm thirsty too. And thirsty. Some ice cubes will keep my drink cold. This'll be great. Now Eddie can sit down and enjoy his healthy snack. Remember your manners, Eddie. Our next friend from the bus is Patty. Patty is a penguin just like Pororo. What color is her hoodie? Purple. That's right, purple. Now let's see what she wants to do in the house. Oh, it looks like Petty wants to go upstairs to the wardrobe. Her purple hoodie is dirty, so she needs something new to wear. How about a red one? Nah, maybe a blue one? Not that one either. Ah, green. That'll work while she washes her purple hoodie. First, the dirty hoodie goes in the washing machine. Now that it's clean, it needs to go in the dryer to dry. Once it's done in there, she can put her favorite purple hoodie back on. Now her favorite hoodie is clean. And she can sit comfortably on the sofa and wait for the rest of her friends to come. And our next friend is Loopy. Loopy is a shy pink beaver who loves to cook and play with Pororo. Now let's see what she wants to do inside the house. Hi, Loopy. Hi, Krong. Krong, Krong. Loopy wants to read a book. I wonder which one she'll choose. Ah, the brave beaver. Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom, there was a princess beaver. Oh, I love this story. Now that Loopy is reading her favorite book, we have... One, two, three, four. Friends out of the bus. And we can start getting our friends on this side. Starting with Harry the Hummingbird. 
He's a cute little purple bird who loves to sing, just like this. Let's see what he'd like to do inside Pororo's house. Hi, Petty. Mind if I sing you a song? Sure, Harry. I love music. Okay, here it goes. Yay, it sounds great! And while Harry's playing his tune, we can get our next friend, Rody the Robot. What color is he? Yellow! Yellow, that's right! And Rody the Yellow Robot wants to play on the playground outside. The slide is fun, but now he wants to try the seesaw. But poor Rody needs someone else to play with him. Maybe Tong Tong can help. He's a magic dragon whose spells don't always go as planned, but he always has good intentions. I'll play, Rody. Hooray! Now Rody can play on the seesaw with Tong Tong. And our next friend from school is Poby, the big white polar bear. Poby got really tired while at school. <sighs> what do you think he's gonna do when he goes inside? Poby's going right upstairs to the bedroom so he can take a nap. Get some rest, Poby. Let's see how many friends we have left. We started with 10 friends. Minus. The eight friends that have gotten off the bus. Equals two. We have two friends left on the bus. But where are they? They're not on this side. And none on this side either. Where could they be? Aha, there they are in the front of the bus. Come on out, Pororo. Ah, here he is, Pororo the little penguin. Pororo likes to wear his blue shirt, and he can't wait to join his friends inside the house. What do you think Pororo is gonna do? It looks like he wants to watch TV in his living room. Yay, my favorite show. And now we have one last friend on the bus. Let's see who it could be. Oh, it's our very own Genevieve! And now that we have all 10 friends off of the bus, we can see what the surprise is. To unlock the surprise, let's count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10! Great job counting! Now let's see what we can do. We can unlock the latches of our bus and open it up into a really cool playground. Wow. We just need to unfold the steps, the ferris wheel, and the slide. And now our bus has turned into an amazing playground for our friends to play. Come on guys, let's play. Play? Huh? Yay. Wait for me guys. I want to play too. I want to go down the slide. Grong, grong. My turn. Look out, Poby. Okay, Eddie. All right, here I go. Woohoo! Let's play ball, Genevieve. Okay. I want to ride the merry-go-round. Let's all do it. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Well, let's do it. Wow, guys. Thanks for playing with us. But now it's time for Pororo and friends to head off to their next adventure. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. And remember, you are awesome.